describe the gesture on the canvas in Action Painter. It is the action painting that direct instinctual and highly dynamic kind of arts that involve the spontaneous application of vigorous, sweeping, brush stork and the chance effect of dripping and spraying paint into the canvas. According to what I learned from our webinar regarding Canva, discussed by Sir Carlo and Garcia, I learned from him that there is no ugly or bad design. We need to keep the design clean to get people interest. The most important detail is that we will show up after we remove the one that should not be there. One of the things that Sir Carlo and Garcia said is that we shouldn't focus on fancy design because it's not good to see. If it's according to our international standard, when what's less is good and beautiful. The important thing is that we contain ideas, what we want to say. We don't need a professional camera to take a photo. All we need to do is apply what we learned in the first webinar. Sir Carlo and Garcia said that there are many apps on Android or Google Player that we can use to improve photos, not only in Canva. One of the examples given by Sir Carlo is fixed art and background eraser. Background eraser so that we can remove the unwanted elements that we can be with the poster. And the last thing Sir said that I can't forget is the term Design happy, design with love so that you are always inspired to make a design and for a good outcome. What is criticism? Art criticism usually criticizes art in the content of aesthetic or the theory of beauty. The variety of artistic movement has resulted in a division if art criticism and the different discipline which may use different criteria for their judgment. We all have our own preference and perspective in one thing, and we also have the right to criticize it. We know it's not bad to criticize, but in a good way. We have many artists in our country that often had an accessory relationship with their critics. Artists need positive opinion from critics for their work to be viewed and purchased, unfortunately, for view and purchase unfortunately for the artists. There are many different variables that determine one judgment of art such as aesthetic, cognition, or perception. Arts can be objective or subjective based on personal preference toward aesthetic and form. It can be based on the elements and principle of design and by social and cultural acceptance. For me, whether it is beautiful or ugly in our eyes, we need to respect it. What is the significant rules of psychology in the study of art appreciation? Art appreciation refers to the exploration and the analysis. It also involves a deeper look into the setting and historical implication and background of the piece, a study of its origins. Art appreciation is extremely relevant for multiple reasons. It is a good way to understand the history behind the period from which the piece originated. Art is meant to stimulate true and conservation between its reviewers. It is important to foster art appreciation and analysis because it helps us to know the viewers where it still concerns and what it wants to convey to people. Patriarch concepts. Unfair. This is what I think when I heard the word patriarchy or the concept of patriarchy. When we say patriarchy, it is a social system that the men hold primary women or males control of property. Women's subordination refers to the inferior position of women, their lack of access to resource and decisions. During this time, women have lost their rights, like in the documentary film about beauty and women's body in stories, Paduang and Chinese culture. In this case, all of this is so unfair for me because they give absolute priority to men and to some extent limits women, human rights also. We know that we have own beliefs 
we all have different culture but we all need to respect what they have. In the discussion of arts and anthropology, particularly in the culture reality visum, in the aesthetics, how do you explain the praise? Beauty is the culturally conditioned eye of the beholder. We all have different beliefs and culture, so we can help but judge each other because of their unique beauty. We know that it's hurt them to judge by other people because of unique beliefs in beauty, but they did not want them to be like that. It's not good to judge other people, since we also know that we are not the same, especially in our culture and beliefs. We know that there are many cultures in our country that have different beliefs. That's why we need to respect what they have and love them because of the sight of the Lord, we are all equal.